going great here in Colombia. It's super hot, but I had the best Italian food here at Ristorante Divino. Chef Fulvio, he is absolutely amazing, completely authentic Italian cuisine. And I found out that we actually have a pro star student who's working in the back, so we're actually gonna go meet him today. I'm super excited, so come on up with me. Hey, Ed, nice to meet you. Nice to meet so you're gonna show me a little bit today about what you do here, right? Definitely. Awesome, yeah. let's do this. Okay, I'll cool. show you where I work. All right. <laughs> so pretty in here. So today we're going to be putting together our banana cream pie. Okay. Um, we're going to start by getting out our shell. Um, all I did was made up a little pie dough, a little flour, a little butter, okay. uh, just a little bit of sugar. Um, kneaded the dough, let it rest, uh, put it in some molds, yeah. spread it out, not too thin. Um, and then I just melted down some chocolate and brushed it with a brush. And some of these guys in here. All right, Ed, go ahead and uh, show me that mask, please, sir. All right. Now we're going to go from here. We're going to take some of our Bailey's white chocolate pastry cream. This pastry cream is about the consistency of pudding. And savor it, savor it. Don't just throw it down. Like, yeah. swirl it around in your mouth Thanks. for a second. And uh, it's got a nice little aftertaste that hits it. It's very, very smooth. Smooth? Yeah. It's yeah. not too assertive. Right. And it's very... It's creamy, to the but tongue. it's not heavy. Coating going on. Okay. Cool. That looks yeah. good. We've got our chocolate covered uh, shell here. We've got the pastry cream. We've got the banana in there. So we're just building one, two, three, four. So a little, this is just some whipped cream. So just a dollop of that. I'm going to take my peeler. I'm just going to add just, uh, just some shavings here. You want to do this, notice I'm not doing it on the plate. I'm doing it away from the plate because if you do it on the plate, Try to remove the chocolate. The chocolate's it's gonna just smudge. gonna smudge. It's gonna melt. So I'm just gonna plop them right here. So what's important to remember whenever we're bouleing the banana? Once you get that sugar going, it is hot. It's like napalm. I mean, once you get it on you, it sticks to you, and it does not want to let go. Okay. <laughs> should I peel this before I no, no, cut no. it? Okay. I'll explain why we don't peel it. More and how many should we do? Okay. All right, very nice. Notice I've left the skin on here, and the reason I do that is because I got my banana and the sugar. Now the sugar will stick to the skin itself. Okay. So when I brulee this, um, I'll have this coating of sugar going all the way around. Then I'll remove the skin, and the, the caramelized sugar will actually remain on the outside, giving it kind of a, a glassy uh, border. Drop these things right down the sugar just like so. All right. Now, we're gonna get in here. It's gonna work, it's gonna take it a minute to start bubbling up. And once it does, once you see that light browning coming on, you wanna spread it around. Notice I'm going in a circular motion, kind of moving it around, not keeping too much concentrated heat on it. How dark should these be? Uh, you know, we want it to be like a nice golden brown. So, um, okay. you wanna give it a go here? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's coloring up pretty nice. Pull away and give a little blood. All right, here we go. Move it around. Sure. Okay. Whatever you do, don't Okay. Nice. <laughs> so I'm still a little bit kind of hot, so I better watch myself. Off like that. <laughs> hey, cool. Voila, yeah, banana cream pie. Nice. Beautiful, all right. <laughs> so, do you want to start digging into this? I would like yeah. to. Yeah. <laughs> you look so excited. Show. I don't know, I'm excited. We're going right. straight for bananas. Should we start? I know, I was going to say bananas are definite. I took well, a long time on that. I'm going to do a little it's bit of chocolate. This is awesome. You're actually his mentor for Pro Start. That's right. And the competition. So, do you oversee him every night, and how does that all work? I try to take him and uh, show him everything that I can because I understand Ed's going to the CIA. I just want to give him a nice little push in the right direction. Well, we're here with Ed Wood, and he's actually going to tell us a little bit about the restaurant. So tell me what you do here. Well, I'm the guard manger cook, and that means I work with the salads, the desserts, and like cold appetizers. So how long have you been working here? I've been working here about six months. So right now, are you working towards your 400 hours to do the Certificate of Achievement? 
No, actually, I've already got my certificate of achievement. So oh, nice. th this is kind of like a little bit extra so I can get more experience before college. Awesome. And I hear you're going to CIA, right? That's right. Have you like gone around the area and seen if you want to cook at any restaurants while you're there? Or are you just going to focus on school? Well, I want to have a job while I'm in college. Well, of course, in a restaurant. But like after I graduate, I might want to go to a bigger city, kind of like the actual New York City or maybe somewhere in California. So tell me about the New York City trip. So each year the Blythewood Pro Start classes will go to New York and they'll visit different restaurants, they'll visit different parts of the New York City and like kind of just take in all the culture. And they also do uh, campus visits too. So. Oh, really cool. so does Chef Turner take you there? Yeah, Chef Turner, he's one of the many, there's many uh, chaperones. So tell me about Chef Turner, how is he as a Pro Start teacher? Well, Chef Turner is pretty cool, I guess. Yeah, he's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah. Did he teach you a lot? He did teach him a lot. He taught me a lot about the fundamentals of cooking and teamwork and a lot of what he taught me I use at the restaurant now you know like working smart working clean and learning how to work with people and just organizing everything that you're doing. All right well thank you so much Ed no for showing problem. me what you do this is awesome guys Kaylee on campus Facebook you can find Ed as my friend if you want to befriend him too which is so cool thank you again and good luck at the Culinary Institute you're gonna have a great time. Thank you very I'll much. I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. <laughs> bye.